Debbie. I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and you're watching Paula McClay by Deck. Hi everybody, welcome back to Palmer Clay by Deb. I'm Deb, this is Crazy Felix, and today Felix is modeling his Felix for President t-shirt. As you can see, he's running for president, so we need all of you to vote for him. Uh, you can purchase these little shirts at his Crazy Felix stuff store on Zazzle.com. We've had a lot of requests on how to make my people, so today what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to make a simple body and then you can utilize that technique along with some of the other videos where I've shown you how to do uh, different clothes and things like that that you would actually put on the body. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what you're going to be needing. <laughs> you need a crazy cat to keep you smiling. Um, all you really need is this uh, Fimo number 43 Fimo Soft Flesh Color. And I have just uh, pre-made some balls here. Um, one for the body, two for the legs, we have two for the arms, and one for the head, and then this is my the body that I have made that I just use as a guide to, um, to decide you know, what size I need and so that they're all consistent. So, oh, and then you need an X-Acto knife, and that's it. So now that you know what we need, let's get started. To begin with, I always start with the torso, and I'm just going to take one of the balls of clay, and none of my balls are pre-measured. I, I always just kind of wing it. I do utilize this body shape as a gauge, as I said before, for the size. Now, I'm just rolling out kind of a log shape, and then I'm squeezing it a little bit in the middle. This is going to be where the neck would be, and I'm squeezing a little bit in the middle, and here is the bottom, so I'm pressing down here. If you were doing a girl, you could make the chest larger, like I'm showing you right here. All of mine pretty much are kids. The only one I did with the large chest was Dolly Parton. Uh, so for the most part, I do them sort of flat chested. And you can see you've got a little bit of a shape here. This is where the neck would be, which we will trim, and this is the torso. Now you do the legs, and here again you just take a, another ball of clay. I'm rolling it out into a log shape. I take towards the bottom here, or now I've turned it upside down. This is, looks like it's the top. Um, I'm rolling here where the ankle would be. This is going to be the foot. And you can see it's starting to take shape like a leg. I then bend where the foot would be. Sort of flatten out the foot, and you can see I'm just kind of shaping it in the shape of a leg. Now, this obviously is too long for this body, and here I'll use this guide. So you see this is how long my leg should be. So I'm going to trim off the excess. And put it there. I don't attach it until I have my second leg made. So now I do the same thing for my second leg. Now I have my second leg done and I'm going to attach them. Now if you were doing a female and you wanted panties on them, you would go ahead and put the panties on at this point on the torso before you attach the legs. This one, I don't know if you can tell, has the panties on it. So I attach my legs and I pick it up and roll it to the back a little bit and you can see here's the shape of a person. Now you want to do the arms and I do the arms the same way. Roll them into a log then I take where the wrist would be and this is going to be a hand and I would flatten it out and twist where the wrist is and your arms usually on a person 
don't quite come to the knees. So that's the gauge that I use. This is going to be the top of the torso. So I'll trim this off. Now in one of my videos I showed you how to do the hands and the feet where you actually can either use a mold or trim in your your hands. So, But I'm not going to do that for this video because all of that just takes extra time and I do have it in other videos that you can watch. So this is still a little too long. Trim it a little more. This actually looks like it should go on this side. So, still a little long. This is all just trial and error. Alright, that looks about right. So now I just repeat the same thing for her other arm. Now I have both arms done. However, if you were going to put clothes on your body, I would put the clothes on before I attach the arms. Um, and I would also have put the sleeves on the arms and then attach them. But I'm just showing you the basic body shape. So I attach the arms. And as you can see, you can bend them however you want. You can see it's actually beginning to look like a person. The person could be holding something. Put the hand on the, on the waist. Now I'm going to trim some of this neck off and attach the head. And here you just take another ball of clay. That's obviously too big. Trial and error. Just play with it until you think you get the right size. Now if you were adding hair to the head, after the hair is applied, the head always looks a lot larger. So. I try to make the head a little bit smaller than what you think it should be. Now that would probably be about the right size for a normal head, so just make it a little bit smaller. And I'll usually put a piece of wire right in here. And there you have the basic body shape. Now if I were going to add shoes, at this point I would just cut the feet off. But that's really all there is to it. <laughs> and there's Felix taking a break. So it's very, very simple. Well Felix and I hope that you found that useful and are able to make all kinds of cute little people with polymer clay. Right Felix? So until next time. Again, I'm Deb with Polymer Clay by Deb. This is Crazy Felix. Please visit our website at debandco.com and our Facebook page at Facebook forward slash Deb and Company where every week or so we are giving away um, some of the things that we make in our tutorials and um, we've got another couple of Puppy Pal giveaways to do yet. So, um, oh, and visit Felix's Zazzle.com, Crazy Felix stuff, to buy his cute little t-shirt. Right, Felix? So, bye-bye, all.